So the first thing, if we go into our master item, you can see that we have the item info. Right in here, we don't necessarily know what the item is yet. So inside of our item info, just open that and open every content drawer again. Right click blueprints, enumeration, and we're going to call this one category. And we're going to add that into our item info. Call it category. I'll type category. Open up your category enumeration, and we're going to have two here. So number one is going to be consume consumable. And number two is going to be equipment. Save that, close out your category, save the item info, go to your master item, compile and save that. And now we got our category over here. If we go into our map right now, not our map, sorry. If we go into, for example, items, we have item stone here. It's of type category and that, that is wrong, obviously. <laughs> so inside your category, we also need to add another one which is going to be material. So if we go to master item now, compile and save that. And in our items, so we got item wood and we got item stone, open both of them up, set those to material. Another thing we want to do is head over into your content inventory and under master item, you want to create a child out of master item. So this one is going to be called master equipment. Move that into your equipment folder and open it up dock it up there. It will have all the all the things of master item, but it's also going to get some new things. So we're going to add a new enum in your equipments folder, and it's going to be called equipment category or equipment slot or, you know, what uh, we, we can use slot. Inside of equipment slot, we're going to add the four ones that we have. So we have weapon, we have shoulder, we have head, and we have trinket. Compile master equipment. In uh, variables, sorry, we need to add equipment slot into our variables list and make it editable and expose to spawn. We're going to head back into item info and we're going to try to add a rarity node as well. And then you want to go into your inventory and you want to right click, select blueprints, enums. And this one is going to be called item rarity. Open it up. We're going to have four uncommon artifact like so. Save that. Close out item rarity, head back into master item, compile and save that, head into master equipment, compile and save that. Now we have access to our rarity inside our item info. So it's currently set to something wonky. So let's head over to master item, head into item info and change it to the rarity enum that we just created. Head back into master item, compile equipment. It's already compiled, so that's good. If you open up your items once more, Sorry, it's a bit back and forth here, but this is set to uncommon by default, so that's okay. We can close out the enums, we can close out the, not the item info, not the master item, and not the master equipment quite yet. Master equipment requires another structure as well. So we're going to go into our inventory, into our equipment, and here we got our, we can actually make a new folder here, call it enums. Move the equipment slot enum into there. Side of this, we're going to create a new blueprint structure. This one is going to be called item stats struct. Inside of item stats, you want to add whatever uh, whatever you want to have. Uh, we're going to have agility and uh, just add more and defense, I believe. Yeah, defense. Inside our master equipment, add a new variable. This one is going to be called item stats struct. Make that editable and expose on spawn. Head back into your equipment. And what we can do is we're going to right click our master equipment and we're going to create a child. So let's actually make it a folder and call this one items. It's a, uh, and we're just going to make one for today. I think we're going to call this one EQ helmet. That's what we're going to call this one. Inside your EQ helmet, we can now start to see. So this is a head type. It has, uh, let's say, three agility. It's going to have one out of everything, actually. Let's just do one out of everything. That's the stats of the item. The name of the item is going to be called Helmet of Doom. Sauron's Cousin. I don't know what we're going to call it. Honestly, it's not stackable. The icon, we're going to use the... I think we used the bike. We're going to use the construction helmet because I have it available. Max stack size of 1, even though it's not stackable. We just could put it as 1. Category, it's a type of equipment. And the rarity, it's going to be a, a uncommon one for now. We are missing a couple things, however, that I'm noticing now. 
one of the things is the meshes and uh, and such. So what we're gonna do, we got the equipment slot here, we got the stats of the equipment, and we're gonna make another one as well. So we're gonna go into here and into enums, actually into why did I put the stats into that? Inside of enums and structs, we're gonna add a new blueprint. It's gonna be of type structure. This one is gonna be called equipment info. Yeah, so we're gonna have a skeletal mesh inside of here of type skeletal mesh. And we're also gonna have a, we, I don't know if we're gonna use this quite yet, but we are gonna have it anyway. It's gonna be a text of type socket. We might come back and change this later. Go back to master equipment, compile and save that. Over on our EQ helmet, it should now have the, it doesn't have anything because we haven't added it. Inside master equipment, add equipment info. Instance editable and exposed on spawn. Compile, save, head over to your EQ helmet. Now it has the equipment info. The mesh that we're gonna be using, I haven't uh, imported it yet, so let me do that quickly. Okay, so I've added the helmet that we're gonna be using. That is the mesh that we're gonna be using. However, we don't know where it's gonna go. So let's head over to our first person character. And on our mesh, we're gonna see the skeleton mesh. We're gonna open it up and we are gonna find, this is the head, so we're gonna find the head. There's our head socket. We're gonna right click, we're gonna add a socket to it. We're gonna call this one helmet socket one. Cause you might want to have more multiple sockets, right? Rename that to helmet, just so we know where it is. Right click, add preview asset. We're gonna add the helmet. Helmet is kind of wonky right now. We're gonna scale it up, the right location. I'm just gonna use it like this. I'm not gonna be too perfect about it. That is our helmet and our socket is helmet socket one. This is only gonna be for the preview. If I start the game now, it's not gonna show up. Over in your EQ helmet, we have the skeleton mesh and the socket. Yeah, let's just set the name of the socket as well while we're here. Don't know if we're gonna implement the socket. We'll see, into EQ helmet. And the socket is that socket right there. Inside our map, I'm gonna alt click that away. I'm gonna find our EQ helmet. I'm gonna have one of those. So if I click play now, Pick it up. We got our helmet of doom here. We currently can't do anything with the helmet. However, we have set up some of the framework needed for our next video. In the next video, we're gonna be setting up the expanded tooltip for this one and uh, showing the stats and uh, maybe the equipment, e equipping of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy these shorter videos. I'm trying to do a little bit of those instead and uh, we'll see how that works out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.